President Kufado has been meeting top members of Ghana's clergy at a prayer breakfast meeting. The president says the nation must pray to fight the pandemic. All of us are aware of the havoc the coronavirus pandemic is wrecking across the world. It is changing our very lives as we know it and is leaving in its wake deaths and economic difficulties and is spreading fear and panic throughout the world. The World Health Organization, WHO, tells us that some 180,000 infections and some 7,000 deaths have been recorded from this pandemic. We also learned sadly on Wednesday the three Ghanaians living abroad have lost their lives as a result. With nine confirmed cases of infections, we might count ourselves as being amongst the countries least hit by the coronavirus. Nonetheless, the rapid spread of the disease across the world has led us to institute a number of measures to help ensure that our nation is adequately prepared to combat the spread of the pandemic on our shores. I made my first broadcast on the matter in this regard on Wednesday, 11th March. On Sunday, 15th March, five days later, in the second broadcast, I announced a raft of enhanced measures, which included the suspension of public gatherings, such as unfortunately church services, to confront the pandemic. Prior to this announcing this decision, I informed many of you around this table of the impending decision of the measures from all and sundry, including those I could not inform because of the exigencies of time. With the exception of that one incident yesterday in North Centresu and Kumasi in the Ashanti region, these measures have been adhered to. So on behalf of government and the people of Ghana, I want to put on record my deep appreciation to you and the entire Christian community across the country for this gesture of solidarity. I'm hopeful that the state and the church will continually find ways to collaborate for the good of Mother Ghana and for the improved welfare of the citizenry. I have also to put on record my equally deep appreciation of the support offered by the Muslim clergy led by the Chief Imam, Sheikh Dr. Osman Nuhu Sharabatu, the nation's political leaders, traditional authorities, great and small, and opinion leaders for the measures taken by government. I mean, clergy, yes, we're screening all persons at our points of entry, with ineligible persons being refused entry. Yes, we've designated quarantine, isolation, and treatment centers for holding suspected cases. Yes, we have suspended all public gatherings including those at nightclubs. Yes, we have closed down all schools until further notice. Yes, we have issued tribal advisories. And yes, we have urged all Ghanaians to observe prescribed social distancing and enhanced hygiene protocols, which happily they are doing. But as a Christian, a devout one of that, I know the healing power and saving grace of the maker of heaven and earth, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because in him we live, move, and have our being. The words of Holy Scripture in Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, tells us, and I quote, Those who may know your name, trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. The Bible tells us again in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, that, and I quote, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forget their sin and heal their land. 
I'm always a little bashful about quoting the Bible in the presence of renowned priests. But I take comfort in the fact that the one thing that unites all of us Christians is that the Bible belongs to each one of us. These are not ordinary times, an eminent clergy. And in such times, a country whose population is predominantly Christian must seek the face of the one true God for healing and restoration. So I humbly call you to this prayer meeting for us to join together and pray to Almighty God to protect our nation, heal this land, and save us from this pandemic. In doing so, we're also putting into practice the, whole, the words of Holy Scripture in James chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. And I quote, Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. I'm confident that this morning's prayer which will be offered in faith, will help heal our nation and will help raise Ghana up. And I believe profoundly that we, the Ghanaian people, with our faith in the Almighty, will overcome this challenge. This too will pass. And this too will pass, says the president. Uh, Any way you can help people who are isolating? Well, we just seen uh, someone put this, post this around on social media. And on this sheet, the president has, uh, it says, if you are self-isolating, I can help. So you write your name, you write where you live, your phone number, and the sort of help you will need. So if the, so if the help is picking up shopping, um, posting mails, urgent supplies, friendly phone call, just call or text me. He says, I'll do my best to help you. And he says, it's for free. Uh, we just, you know, having this and thought of sharing it with you. So how are you helping uh, in your own small way? How are you helping people around you? Uh, you know, social media helps. Let's see how we can help one another. You know that Jack Ma is also, Jack Ma is also sharing some test kits across the world, including Africa.